We good to go? It is absolutely horrendous what is happening in Darfur. It is mind-boggling that the public can stand by and let these kinds of things happen. The American public needs to rise up, the international public needs to rise up, and actually help these people, those that can. It's um, something that we're all, we all have to, we should all be obliged to help. This is Katka from Afia Film, and I just want to give a message to everybody out there. Don't think that just because it's happening far away today, it's not going to happen on our doorstep. So please take an action and let's take one step at a time so it's not happening in Darfur or in Brooklyn or anywhere else tomorrow. Thank you. I am Jay Alexander, better known as Miss Jay from America's Next Stop Model. And I would like to say to our American government, if Malcolm Harris can do this much for Darfur and with the fashion people that the government can do a hell of a lot more and a whole lot better. So please give what you can, when you can, whenever you can to help the people in Darfur. We're a rich country, we're spending money all over the place doing other things and in the fashion capitals we're making a whole lot of money too and if we can go spend a thousand dollars on a t-shirt we can give ten dollars to Darfur. Thank you. I would like to send a prayer for the people of Darfur and Chad. Good evening, my name is Armin Amiri. I'm standing here uh, trying to send you guys a message. Uh, the only thing I could really say that I'm very sorry that we all have failed you. And um, putting a lot of prayers out there towards the towards you guys and the fact that hopefully the whole world will come together and do something quickly and I'm very sorry. Good night. My name is Malcolm Harris. I'm the founder of Designers for Dakota. Maybe most of the people that are watching this have never heard of me, have never seen me, know nothing about me. But this is not about me, this is about the people of Darfur. I'd like to say that we are extremely sorry. I wish that there was more that I could do. I wish there was more that I could say. I don't think I'll ever be strong enough to do everything that I possibly can, but I will not stop until the genocide in Darfur is over. I will write letters, I will make phone calls, I will hold events, I will even get on a plane eventually and come to Darfur to do whatever I can to assure that you people, my people, never have to suffer another day. I pray that the rest of the world will finally stop and all join together to save Darfur. Thank you. Um, you know, what's going on in Darfur is absolutely atrocious. Uh, it really does take the activities and the, the drive of people um, like those who are making this movie and those who are starting this movie and actually spend time there, people like Don Cheadle, to really make a difference and, and shed some light on what's going on there. It really is up to us to make a change. And for those of us who can actually influence change and, and bring about positive steps in Darfur, it's important for all of us to do that. I'm living in a first world country. It's very easy to forget that all the privileges we have from our education and our backgrounds aren't a given for many people in the third world. We should be doing our, our best as citizens of an entire world to do what we can to highlight the plight of the people in Darfur. My prayer for Darfur is that we can save Darfur. There's a great man who said that America put a man on the moon a long time ago. If America can put a man on the moon, then a lot of nations can get together and save Darfur. What kind of person is Malcolm? What's he like? Malcolm is radioactive when it comes to good vibes. He's better than good. That's, that's what Malcolm is. Hi, I'm here tonight in New York City, and my prayer for this evening is that not just the entire city of New York learn about what's going on in Darfur, but 
the whole population or the younger generations of the United States learn. I think with the Olympics coming up next summer in Beijing, it's a really fantastic time for the youth, youth of America to learn about how the world is coming together and also the way China is funding some of the atrocious things that are happening in Darfur. And I think it's important for people to celebrate all different types of cultures coming together. And also they know that they have an opportunity to say to the Chinese government that they should stop funding genocide. And that with the celebration of the Olympics, we want everyone to come together and that this does not have to continue. care about Darfur because people are dying and they don't need to and you can do something about it to stop it. Hi, I'm Gianluca Bragnone from 23 Suite Studio and uh, I just wish that uh, you know one day hopefully very soon and shortly all the atrocities in Darfur will end so that uh, families and people and life will finally uh, get to prosper again um, and you know the place the world uh, should be a better place for that and uh, let's hope that that happens and let's get everybody moving and put in a big effort and uh, it's so it's only like that that you're gonna things get ha get things happening I think I'm gonna have to redo this or something or not hi people uh, around the world especially in South Africa and in, and in, and in Darfur uh, this is a message to all of you let you know that the people on the other side of the water, specifically the U.S., are very aware of your cause. We're doing all that we can to acknowledge what's going on and to, more importantly, to have change happen there in ways that we can only hope to achieve uh, that are peaceful. And uh, it's important that that we're trying to sort of get past our own lives and acknowledge what's going on in your on your continent. And it's, it's something that we're working on every day. Uh, be strong. Uh, Believe in faith, believe in each other, and ultimately we will all get through this at some point. For Darfur, we pray for peace, we pray for tranquility, we pray for light to shine on your nation, that unity will bring forward um, peace and unity throughout the land. Hey, my name is Erin Jividin. I'm here in New York City, represent Save Darfur Now. There's a massive genocide going on in our world, and so many people don't know about it. And all you have to do is get out there and tell people. Tell people about the genocide and tell them that there are things they can do. You can go to Save Darfur Now. There's a million organizations out there. And uh, get out there and show your green and support Save Darfur. I want to set out an amazing prayer to Darfur. For all of those out there in Sudan, we love you, we honor you, we cherish you, we want to assist you in every way possible. We send out positive energy and love and support, and we're coming to save you. We want you to not relax, but continue your prayer on your end, and we will pray on this end, and collectively we will come together, and Sudan will rise again. You will be loved again. Don't you think that we are not out here working hard to get it to you? We're working so hard day and night. We pray for you. Keep your mental strength up. Sing, dance, rejoice until we come because we are on our way. We love Sudan. We love Darfur. We love Sudan. We love Darfur. We love Sudan. We love Darfur. And we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Hold on. We're coming to save you. Here we come, baby. Here we come. Here we come. Rest assured, we coming. Save Darfur. Okay. Okay. I just want to say uh, how important it is to be able to think for yourself. And there's some awful things going on right now in the world, especially in Darfur. And uh, to be educated. You know, I think ignorance is something that's really easy to just say, hey, we're not going to worry about this right now. It's much easier to focus on you know, what's right in front of you today without really thinking of the bigger picture. And, um, but I think by, by not being aware, uh, you're really making a choice. And it's a choice that could have effect on the future. And so I think it's important to get educated to find out exactly what is going on uh, because there really some are really some atrocities happening right now. So I think it's up to everyone to really make the difference that they can to be educated for themselves and to think for themselves and what is right and what is wrong so that we can actually make a difference and correct some of the injustices that are happening.